Right, so if I was going to copy any pro cyclist training, Brandon McNulty would be the one to do if you don't have unlimited time to train. Now, you might ask why Brandon McNulty, like last week, he did a 20-hour week. I think the reason is, is that his training is like not actually that focused on like wild endurance rides, and he actually does a lot less than most professional riders do. So the week structure, like I think it's four days on, one day off he seems to be doing. So 27th was like his last day of his block. He had 28th off. And then rode from the 29th um, until the Saturday, basically. And then Sunday he had day off. But we're going to go through the sessions, just how he structures the week and like whatever. And why I think it, there's some good things that like you can copy. So today is a four hour ride. Um, the first day of the block, pretty easy, um, but not actually like crazy easy. So 280 normalized for him. He's probably got a threshold of 440 watts would be my prediction. Um it will be 70% if you had 400, so it's probably more like 65%. And I guess this is the what number one thing. If you don't have as much time to train, um, you know, as you as you can, and you think maybe you're plateauing, just do your endurance rides closer to like 70%. Um, it will have a little bit of an impact on some of your other stuff, but it is a good way of just increasing your efficiency. You can see here, like, these are hard. Most pros don't, they do 50 watts less than this. This is like proper hard zone two ride. Um, so, you know, if your threshold was 200, 300, sorry, I'd do it at like maybe 210 to 215 and just see how they feel. Uh, you know, you don't have to start doing them immediately that hard, but I think that's one way, even if you don't have much time to increase, uh, the utility of the rides, because at some point that's the only way you can do it. All right. Day two, uh, again, just another endurance rides, three hours. Um, but then we kind of got the exciting intervals, which I think are good, which are the torque efforts. Again, you can see, um, 384 Watts, 48, um, 48 cadence. So again, you can see here like pretty low, ca uh, low, low cadence, not crazy. So he'll be working to talk. So, um, which is something that I've been giving to some of my athletes recently and people seem to think it's, it's good. I think there's some merits to, I don't think it's the be all and end all of everything, but you can see here, like if he's doing 344 Watts, um uh 40 cadence he's kind of doing 80 newton meters which is pretty impressive people generally say if you get to about 90 newton meters you're doing well again you can see here like i think these sessions he did six by four but these are something that i'd really do in base season and you know it's like the whole science to sport pelotrain stuff is these torque intervals so again i think if you don't have much time they don't take very long you can do six by four in an hour you can do four by four unless sorry he's done more than six done like eight here but start at four by four and just try and increase it just ride out to the hill ride back no stress so that's a really good session to do um then we kind of got some of the, the other sessions that he does which are more like tempo based so again you can see here these are real like strict tempo maybe like a little bit just above that like 311 watts not too hard he'll move on to harder intervals like 330 but the what i'd say to do is like 80 85 percent um and i think this is really a good ride if you don't have much time let's say you've got two hours in the middle of a week to ride just do like two by 45 which is an hour and a half 10 minutes warm up 10 minutes in between 10 minutes cool down done and that is like a really really good session obviously that's quite a hard one to start with but basically i think if you're going to do tempo because you don't have much time you just need to do long blocks because the longer it is the better you know three by 20 at 80 85 percent is good place to start off with but realistically you just need to be spending as much possible time as you can um, so that's something that I really think is good. And then we've got another endurance ride here. So you can see like this endurance ride slightly easier, maybe only average 256 normalized, obviously a little bit higher. But again, I think what it goes to show you, there's a four day block, four days of endurance. Sorry, a four day block. Uh, is this four day? No, it's five day block. Um, yeah, so he's basically just doing endurance uh, for three of them and then two days of intervals, which I think is like kind of useful. So if you're doing you know, maybe if you're doing nine to five, it'd be slightly different. But again, I think this is like someone who you should definitely look at and see what training they do. Don't copy a hundred percent. Like obviously you're not going to be able to do this many intervals straight away because it just takes time to get to that point. But I think it's more like the ideas of how he trains, how he's trying, like how the whole UAE people generally train is like a slightly higher zone two, which I think is useful, especially if your races are shorter, um, which most amateurs are, they are like a three hour race. You can get away with just doing three hours high zone two instead of doing five hours zone one. Um, for example, doing some talk training, I think is useful. Um, combine that with gym. I think that's really good. And then doing some kind of metabolic tempo stuff. Um, I also think is really, really useful. And just when you're doing these sessions to try and spend as much time as you possibly can at this, you know, 
eventually you'll just be able to do two hours no stress at this wattage and it'll be really really it has big training adaptions and i think it's something that's really useful um but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy obviously coaching link down below as always uh, and i'll see you in the next one